okay, and taking action to get there. All right, next we have the Six of Swords. And with the Six of Swords, this is transition. This is leaving behind and moving on. This could even be a journey over water. Maybe there's sadness about what you've had to leave behind or past issues, but it's like, I'm ready to move on into something better. You need to understand that the bad will be replaced with good. Okay? And this could be a changing of jobs or leaving a relationship or moving house or just a move in your life or career, anything like that, or the way you think. Next, we have the Five of Swords, and this is a win at all costs card. You know, a sneakiness, unbridled ambition, you know, hidden agendas, unfair dealings. It's like watch your back. Maybe sometimes you think you've won and you haven't. Sometimes I also see it as like backstabbing sometimes in a way. All right, next we have the full card in reverse. And the full card is ruled by Uranus. And you actually got Uranus over here. And so <laughs> this is in reverse. So when it's in reverse, this is acting like a fool or disregarding repercussions of actions, you know, living in the moment, not planning ahead. And it's a warning to be more aware, you know, being naive. And sometimes it can be like those situations of where maybe it's too good to be true. Okay. All right. Next we have the justice card, which I do believe is ruled by Libra air energy, but this is truth, fairness, law, clarity, Cause and effect. It can have to do with legal matters, legal documents, uh, legal rulings in your favor. This can also speak to you about using logic rather than emotions in a situation. And justice will be served with this card. And this is also a card that says you're going to be accountable for your actions. Okay? Taking those responsibilities. All right, next we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is Earth Energy. Sometimes pages are seen as small children. Or seen as messages. If it is, it could be Earth. Inner, uh, if it is a person, it could be Earth sign, which would be, what is that, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But if it is not a person, this is ambition, desire, good news, usually around finances. Could be some type of windfall. This could also do with skills. You have the skills to manifest your dreams, like leveling up, moving up. And this could also be school, going back to school, important documents about school or education, academic studies. But with this card, it's also saying stick with it, you know, focus and stick with things. All right, next we have the Page of Wands. Again, like I said, this could be a small child or someone over the, under the ages of like 18, or it could just represent messages. But um, if it is a person, it could possibly be a fire energy. So that would be Aries, Leo, or Sag. So this could be two small children. It could possibly be. But if not, this is pointing towards creative new energy, new passions, exciting news that revolves around your work. All right. It triggers you to make discoveries and move forward on an idea and to remove fear. Gather your resources and move on it, you know. Right next, we have the Three of Pentacles. And with the Three of Pentacles, this is teamwork, collaboration, building success through effort, realizing you have the skills, the resources to accomplish your goals, having pride in your work. All right, next we have the Four of Cups. And with the Four of Cups, this is contemplation, disconnectedness, a lack of interest. You know, don't miss an opportunity because you're so caught up in, I'm not sure if this is really what I want, or I'm really just trying to figure something out, and you just mull things over too long and you miss the opportunity. Um, this could also talk about the solutions likely in front of you and you're just not realizing it. And it can simply say check in emotionally before you move forward on an idea. Okay, next we have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is usually referred to as the wish come true card, you know. So this is about satisfaction, um, emotional stability, luxury. It's like counting your blessings, living in that moment because your wishes are coming true. Everything's coming up millhouse, as I say, or coming up roses. <clears throat> It's like that law of attraction feeling. Okay. So I see a couple things in this reading, but for the majority of it, I think you have this dream or new opportunity coming to you. 
And it could come out of the blue, and it may be something that you've always wanted, and you may be unsure about it. There could be a situation where you are you are ready to move on to something new, and you may be a little unsure. Maybe in the past you tried to work towards something, and someone kind of crapped on you about it. It could be that. And it could just simply mean that you're transitioning. It's like, it's time for you to move forward and figure out what you want and make those plans to move forward and look to the future. And you may fear that it's too good to be true. Like this dream or this opportunity or proposal or uh, like proposal could be, I guess, could be a relationship, but it could be like a business proposal. The only reason I said it is because you've got three of the pinnacles down here. And I wonder if... <sighs> Two different things. One, either you've worked in a past with someone and they screwed you over and they were reckless and you're unsure about it. Or I want to move forward and build something and I need to figure out whether I want to act on it or not. Because maybe this idea or this project, I'm unsure about it. Maybe I'm being a little reckless. Maybe I need to pay closer attention to this offer or this proposal or this new project or this idea. And I really don't need to just jump the gun just because I think, oh, I'm going to get more money or just whatever. Or, you know, maybe I beat everybody out in a getting a job type of thing. And it's like maybe this proposal and it's like, do I really want that? Is this really what I'm looking for? And it's like I've got to look at it deeper. You know, don't be naive. Just don't jump into something. All right. Without thinking. Okay. And it's saying to you, you, you need to think these things through and then move forward into deciding what you want to do with the Page of Pentacles. It's good news. You will have good news coming to you. It could be money. It could be going back to school. It could be a, multi a lot of things. But here I feel like I keep getting that energy of like, don't rush into something. Check in first and, you know, really check the fine print. And really figure out, is this what I want? Does this align with what I want? To my desires, to my ambitions, to the future that I want, you know? And what I want to build. And then figure out and construct where you want to go. And then contemplate and mull it over. Is there anything changes? Is there something else I'm missing? Is am I really 100% satisfied with this situation? And what I'm being offered. And then it's saying here that the wish is coming true. It's like, you know... You that it might surprise you with the outcome, whatever this may be. So it's saying to you that just don't jump in, you know, like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to do whatever. I'm just going to jump in, um, whatever. And it's saying to you, yeah, this is a good opportunity. Just don't flood in. Or maybe it's like past fears. You could be offered something where a partnership with something. And it's like maybe you really need to weigh up your options before getting into that situation with these people. But in the end, it's like your wishes, I think, will come true. I think there is a positive outcome this month with that nine of cups there. And it's like you need, because see, they mirror each other. This is saying I'm leaving things behind that did not serve me. And it could be leaving past situations where you got screwed over or I'm trying to win at all costs and I'm being like a little child about things because this could be you or someone else. And it could be you're working in a team. And it's like, you know what? I don't have time for this childness. And it could be you doing it. It could be someone else. And it's like, I want to move forward. I want to make things happen. I'm going to offer you a proposal. Either we can move on from this and stop fighting each other and actually set things in motion and make things happen and work together as a group. Contemplate it. Am I going to do it? Move forward in the right direction. Because what you choose if you look through things and you're not naive and you just don't be reckless and you fall on ambition and you act on things, it will, with that nine, I'm sorry, with that page of wands, it's like it triggers you to move forward. Like you're realizing, like waking up, I realize that and I want to move in the right directions. I have the resources to make this happen if I want it to happen. Yeah, okay, so... It could be that as well. It could be realizing that other people have resources to offer you if you're working on a team. I do want to say this too. If this is a legal issue, if you're dealing with any type of legal issue, it looks pretty good because there's like an offer coming in and it could be in a situation, could have been this, um, 
I'm not 100% sure it could be some kind of domestic violence or situation because I feel like there could be children involved. And it's like I'm leaving an unhappy home where there could have been battling. And everything's coming out in your favor and you might get a document coming in. It could be money. It could be just something coming out in your favor. And it's really good news. And everything's working out. And this could be you talking with your lawyers and stuff. And you're contemplating, like, is this the offer I want? You might get multiple offers. If it doesn't revolve around children, it could be in a situation where someone was driving or traveling and perhaps got in an accident or someone wasn't paying attention. And it could have been a young person. You know, maybe somebody wasn't paying attention when they were driving. Um whatever the situation is here, it's like recklessness and somebody's going to have to pay the bill for that. It could be you as on that, but I feel like this is an offer being made. It could be you're on this side of it as far as like, maybe you're the one that's going to have to pay it forward. But I get more of a feeling like if it is a legal issue, I feel like it's coming out in your favor and it's like a settlement, like a windfall or some kind of document coming in, an important document that deals with legal issues about a reckless situation, maybe while traveling, or it could have been in a job, like I left a job, or a home situation, or something where there was a lot of bad behavior, inappropriate behavior, or really um, distressing behavior, if you get what I'm saying, like where you're under duress, or something's really bothering, you're stressed out. Uh, it could be like a mental dis duress, because someone was acting foolish or reckless. If this is a situation for you, I don't know this is general, so I'm offering out something else I see here. There will be good news, working, trying to figure those things out. And like, do I want the settlement they're offering me or the proposal that they're offering me? Do I want those offers? Should I settle for this or is there something better coming? Or maybe this is just a feeling of I'm not really sure if this is what I want. You know, maybe it's too good to be true. But I get the feeling still there's like... A happy surprise and you you will get what you wanted okay it could be a settlement over children or it could just be anything like that i just wanted to throw that out there that i saw that too but i did pull an extra clarifier for this reading and i got uranus um number seven in reverse and when uranus is in reverse it is cautionary it's a warning uh that diving headfirst into one's passions without checking to see how deep the pool is can lead to a headache, paralysis, or even drowning in one's endeavors, okay? Which is what I said. If you're worried about something and you're like an opportunity, a new idea, an offer, or something's coming in, it's like don't just jump into it because this is like naive and it's like a warning because both of these cards are alike, okay? And the fool is ruled by Uranus. So they're both in reverse saying to you, don't be naive. Don't jump into something without checking in first, okay? But um, what was I saying to you? It could be like, you know, without checking the depth of the pool, it can lead to a headache, a paralysis, or even drowning in your endeavors. But surprise is part of the Uranus spirit. So let's hope that surprise is good. It might turn out in your favor, but it's just saying to you, think things through logically. Pan everything out do the research, get in there, make the discoveries about any information, you know, uncovering what you need to, and then figuring out how you want to move forward. Is this what I really want or not? Okay. Because it could be that I don't trust what I'm seeing in a way, because that's what I feel like with this trickery. Like, is this trickery? Is this too good to be true? This offers that's coming to me. I need to like mull it over for a minute before I move forward. So there is some type of offer coming in there. But I also wanted to do um, angel numbers or numerology. I do find that some of my followers seem to like that when I do my daily readings on Facebook. So as far as the number seven, the meaning of number seven, uh, seven is a wonderful and important message to receive because it means support and encouragement. If you're starting to receive this number, be excited because divine support is on its way. It's an assurance that whatever you're planning to do or thinking of deciding on will be the best thing for you. Uh, your angels are supportive. The universe is supportive of your plans and your decisions. 
Uh, they know that you are capable of making the best decision. Okay? They are sending you this number seven so that you will not start doubting yourself. Okay? There's doubts here, okay? Uh, doubting yourself or the merit of your decision, okay? So that you're not doubting yourself or the merit of your decision, all right? Because there could be like, oh, it's too good to be true. Is it too good to be true? Am I living a dream? You know, and it's saying like, maybe I'm doubting the situation, okay? But it's safe always not to be naive, to double check everything, do a little research, think before you act, okay? Okay? 